All right, so here I have an index.html page which has body tag with empty script tag. And this is where we are going to write our JavaScript code to play with our JSON object. Now, as we know that the basic building block of JSON object start and end with curly braces. And within that curly braces, we are going to define our fields in double quotes. But as we are writing code in JavaScript, so first let's declare the variable and assign this JSON object to it. And now in this JSON object, let's start adding patient demographic fields as key value pair. And now to check this work, let's do the console.log of this object. So to run this page, I have already installed one cool extension of Visual Studio Code, which is called Live Server. This Live Server extension allows you to edit HTML and JavaScript and then see the updates in real time on your browser. So to run this page, let me right click on this page and select this option open with Live Server. And here we go. Our page is now running under live server. Now let us open Chrome developer tools and let me go to the console window. Now when I save this page, you will see the real time update in our console window. So you can now see here that our patient JSON object is now logged. Now let's say if you want to access this patient name object property in console then you can simply do that using object notation like this and now when i save this page you can see the patient name is displayed over here now in this json object what if i add one more nested object over here like this and now this time i want to access this physician name which is under this physician object so let's see how we can achieve it using object notation. So now this time I need to write patient dot physician dot name. And now when I save this code, you can see our physician name is displayed over here. Okay, now one thing I want to show you that if we wanted to send this JSON through Ajax to a server, then we can actually change it to an adjacent string using a function called json.stringify so for that what i will do here is let me remove this and now just say patient equal to json.stringify patient object and let us save this code and now you can see it started returning our patient json object as string and by the way now i cannot access this stringified object property like this and when I save this object, you can see here that it will return undefined. So to get this name, I have to convert it back to JSON object using json.parse method. So now let us convert this stringify version of patient into a JSON object. And now when I save this code, it started return me the patient name again. All right, now let's add one more stuff. Let's add an array object in this JSON. Say this is history. All right, now let's save this code and check in the browser. So our updated JSON object is displayed successfully. And you can see our new this is history array object. Now let's track some of this array object information which we have loaded here. As this is an array, we can use array notation with square brackets and we can ask for item 0, item 1 or item 2 to access this object information. Let's say if I want to access this item 1 object from this this is history array, then what I need to write over here is our patient object name dot this is history of 1. And now when I save this code, you can see here that it now started returning the second item of this array and then instead of one if i ask for zero and save the code then it started giving me the 
first object from this array now same way i can access this individual property using dot notation like say if i want to access this this is property then for that i need to use dot and just write this is and when i save this page you can see that this is name displayed over here all right now let me remove this now in this object the one thing to remember is you can look at this each and every object in this console by mousing over on any name and it will show you exactly how to get it say for example if i want to access this console date then in the tooltip you can see that this is history of zero dot consult date so it's a kind of helpful when you are trying to figure out complicated data just mouse over it and look at the path there and then mimic that path in your code and you will started getting your expected data